I'm gonna explain how to use Bitwarden on a Mac. Make sure you watch until the end. So you have all these different sections. The first section is my vault. These are all the different things that you saved to Bitwarden. And at the top, you have the different types. So you have login information, you have cards, you have identity. So this is stuff like passports and driver licenses. You have secure notes where you can create different notes and you have SSH key. And here you have different folders. So if I click on the plus sign, I can make a different folder and organize my stuff a little bit better. Now, if I click on send, this is a way where you can send notes to someone. So in order to send a note, you wanna click on plus and here you can name the send. So if I just call it test two and you can do whether you're sending an encrypted file and you do need premium for this, which you can access down link description, the pin comment or text. And you use this for sending a password or any other information that you want encrypted. And then you can tick here where it says when access to send, hide the text by default. So they have to press the icon. And here you have different deletion options. So you can either make it delete within an hour, a day, two days, three days, one week, 30 days or custom. You can do the expiration date. So you can choose whether the never or it will expire in one day. And you have the maximum access count. So if set users will no longer be able to access this send once the maximum account is reached, you can do a password that they need to put in, write notes, you can hide your email address, you can dictify the send so no one else can access it and you can copy the link upon save. So if I just wanna do this, then I can click on save. Now when they paste this link, in their web browser, they'll be able to access the note I just sent them. And go back to my vault, and if you want to create a new password, you can click on the plus icon. And here you can choose whether it's a card, whether it's identity secure note or SSH key. Yes, say it's just a login. And in the name, give it a name such as Google account one. So yes, just say Google, Google five, and a username. And this is the username, it's usually gonna be your email. And then you wanna create a password. What you can do is you can press this icon here. And what is this going to do? This is going to make a random secure password. And if you want to change it, you can press that button here or you can make it a passphrase as well. And you can choose the amount of names, the word separator, whether you want to include a number or capitalize. But if you want to make a normal password, we can make it go A to Z. We can do the minimum amount of numbers. So if I do five, four numbers, you can see it's going to be even more numbers. You can do a minimum special. So you can click that. And now you can see that it has all these different things. And if I do use this password, now the password is going to be the password I created from here. You can do authenticator key if you choose with. Here you can choose a URL, for example, google.com. And if you clear the gear icon, you can make default, match description, host, starts with regular expression, whatever. You can pick a folder. You can make it be a favorite. So it's gonna come out of your favorites. You can write notes about it and you can do custom fields if you want. And you can save it by clicking this button. And if you want to delete it, go to any password. You can right click and here you can do edit. And here you can edit anything you just put in or you can clone where you copy it, you can launch. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna launch where the password is saved to, the website, and you can copy the username or copy the password. If you do this icon here, this is move to organization. I'm not currently in an organization, but if you was, you easily be able to send files securely to other members in your company and this is useful. And you can only do this if you get a subscription. And if I click on delete, I delete the password. Bitwarden is by far the best password manager and it's the one I personally use. It's free version, it's really, really good. But if you want a little bit better version, you can try out the premium version or support Bitwarden. Down the link in the description, the pin comment. If you found value in this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.